So with the watercolor technique, make sure your colors are clean, meaning that you have to wash your brush before you put a different color on. And uh, also you have to let the color dry before you add another layer so it doesn't get too muddy. Um, and the bottle colors, it has to be, colors have to flow easily and um, not get muddy. So keep your water clean and uh, let the colors dry so you can add another layer, okay? Also make sure you have a little testing paper. You can test your colors there and make them the way the thickness and lightness you prefer it to be. And um, because watercolors are not very, not that forgiving as other, other mediums are. So you have to kind of know which color you're putting where in a kind of slightly fast matter so you don't make it muddy or colors get well dirty and uh, watercolor should be light and flows easily with one color from one color to another okay and many times we have to let the first layer color to dry so we can add second layer just like that and after I'm adding a little more clean water around so it kind of blends out gently not too much water just a little bit now it's kind of like shining shining heart chakra shine just like that and now we're gonna let it dry also when painting don't be um, afraid of using different mediums as long as they work with each other and not against each other so right now I'm using this little watercolor pen And here you also can see some shiny, shiny little, little um, pen I used to give extra th uh, three definition effect, 3D effect. Like that, I also use pencil here. And they work beautifully together. They don't, you know, they work with each other. So which is nice. So now I'm adding a little bit of water, so color blends in with each other nicely, gives a little blended effect. This is just water, clear water, clean water, and um, the colors just blend with each other, so it gives nice, naturally blended look. Right now I'm using this awesome shiny color, watercolor, and I think it will be very pretty. And this little fishy, it will be all cute and shiny. And for details, I like to use pencil sometimes because um, it's just easy to work with. So I did a little shine in pigment on a fish and it's nice and has a little shine to it. So right now I'm using this little pencil and just doing a little bit of little dots make this little definition I also like to use this chalk pencil 
Right now I'm just doing it this way. Just whatever needs to be lighter, light. You just said a little bit. It's a little bit faster than using a paintbrush and paints. So this is a little more faster way to get the effect you would like to see. 